Hello everyone, I'm Imran. Welcome to a brand new series of lightweight charts. As the name suggests, lightweight charts is a library for creating interactive financial charts on JavaScript. If you are building a project where you, you are working with a lot of financial data and you have to plot charts using those data, then I think you should definitely take a look at this library. It has a lot of fun options and it supports a lot of customizations. It supports a lot of series types like area series, bar series, histogram series and the most important is the candle series because not a lot of charting libraries actually support supports candle series. We will start with the very basic stuff like how we can install this library in our project and then gradually move forward to the more complex stuff like working with real-time data etc. This library can be used with plain JavaScript but we can also use any JavaScript framework or libraries like React or Vue.js. In this video we will see how we can plot a very basic chart in a React application. So let's get started. I have here with me a very basic React application which I have created using npx create react app. Now let's install this library in our project. So I'm going to go inside lightweight charts and in their documentation I'm going to visit getting started. And let's copy and paste this code in our terminal. Okay, so that's installed. Now I'm going to visit their React tutorial. So I'm going to go inside tutorials and from there I'm going to visit React. So here they have set up a small guide on how we can set this chart on a React application. It's a very basic chart and uh, we're going to create this in our project now. So back in our project we need we will need a development to generate this chart so we're going to uh, assign an ID to a development let's name it chart we we'll render our chart inside this development so we're going to say that uh, chart container is equals to document dot get element by id and we're going to pass the id inside of this method okay so that will give me this diff html element but we can actually do this exact same thing in another way since we're using react we have a hook called useref which we can use uh, in this case i think since we're using, using react that would be much smarter okay so let's get rid of this let's get rid of this id as well let's say const chart container ref is equals to use ref okay so i just uh, imported this use ref hook from react um, i used auto import so you might need to import it manually if you don't have auto import enabled okay so let's reference this development we're going to pass this um, reference that we created up here inside this ref so chart container ref now we're going to create this chart inside of a use effect hook so we're going to say use effect and then arrow function and then, then let's give the dependency array right? so in, inside of this use effect block i'm going to say const chart is equals to create chart this function, this create chart function, we get it from the lightweight charts library. And it takes two arguments. One is that um, ref that we created. So we're going to say chart container ref dot current. And then it takes an object. So inside of this object, we're going to uh, specify different um, customization options like background color, height, width, etc. And many others, which we'll, we will cover in this, uh, in this series later on so we're going to say layout inside of layout 
we are going to say background and inside this background is another object so it takes type and I'm going to say color type dot solid and then we have color this is the background color so we can say white and then we need to specify the width so we can we can give any width as we desire and any height we desire say 200 uh, let's increase this a bit 500 okay now we need to de define our series so funds new series is equals to chart dot we're going to create an area series in this video so we're going to say add area series and inside of this add area series we're going to uh, specify the different uh, options like um, color uh, border color etc so I already have a snippet with me which I'm going to paste uh, you can understand it very easily so inside of this add area series method I'm just passing it an object where I have uh, specified different customization options like line color, top color, bottom color, etc. So I'm going to explain in a, in a bit what this line color, top color, bottom color, all, all of these mean. But for now, let's just uh, continue. So our series is defined. Now we need to pass our data inside of our series. So we're going to say new series dot set data and we need to pass it an array of data so we can copy and paste the initial data from the lightweight charts tutorial the example code snippet so we're going to say up top that this is the data we're going to paste it here um, and I'm going to pass initial data inside of this set data so now our data is passed to our series let's see what we have created so far so i have to start my project npm start okay so we have a very basic chart but one little problem that is we're seeing two charts but we only created one so why is that that is because we did not return the cleanup function at the end of the use effect block it's an arrow function and we're going to say chart dot remove and now that problem should be fixed yes we can make this chart full width by changing the width to chart container ref dot current to client width now it, it stretches from left to right we can also change the height of this chart by modifying the height property we're going to change the height from 200 to 500 yes so that works in the next video we'll take a look at the different types of series that this charting library supports thank you